For months, the entire world had been counting down to October 3rd, a date NASA itself had marked as the Day of Revelation. Every newsroom, observatory, and backyard telescope had fixed its attention on a single name, 3i Atlas. The strange, interstellar visitor had become a global obsession, its origin and purpose a mystery wrapped in equations and speculation. It was supposed to be the moment everything changed, the day humanity would finally know what had entered our solar system. The world watched and waited for the promised data, images from Mars that would, according to NASA, reveal the object's true nature. But when the day came, the silence was deafening. Instead of data, the official pages displayed a single bland message, under maintenance. It was the kind of technical delay that usually went unnoticed, but this time it felt deliberate. Before we continue unraveling what really happened, make sure to subscribe and stay with us, because what follows is something that should never have been forgotten. At the time of the flyby, three Atlas had been positioned on the far side of the sun, perfectly hidden from every Earth-based telescope. Only the orbiters around Mars could see it. Those mechanical eyes, belonging to NASA and the European Space Agency, should have been the first to send back images. But no signal came. No photographs, no telemetry, nothing. Then came the whispers, quiet, uncertain, yet spreading fast. Some inside the scientific community murmured that the data was too disturbing to release. Others suggested that the supposed maintenance was a deliberate blackout, a pause ordered from the top. Theories multiplied. Maybe 3.i Atlas wasn't a comet at all. Maybe it was something built. The absence of information became its own kind of terror. Humanity stared into the silence, waiting for an explanation that never arrived. Then a breakthrough or perhaps a warning. Late on October 3rd, a relatively unknown astrophysicist named Drew Doss uploaded a nine-minute clip to his social feed. It was composed of frames from the Perseverance rover, images that NASA had not yet released to the public. In them, a faint streak cut across the Martian sky, barely visible but undeniably there. When Doss compared the motion to NASA's official coordinates for 3i Atlas, they didn't align. The object wasn't where NASA said it would be. Using open-source analysis tools, Doss confirmed something even stranger. The spectral data, the mix of ionized gases, the unique nickel signature without iron, matched previous readings of 3i Atlas exactly. It was the same object, but now it was off course. That discovery changed everything. Celestial bodies could break apart, flare, even disintegrate, but their orbits did not change without force. Yet 3i Atlas was moving on a new trajectory. Its path had shifted by millions of kilometers, drawn closer to the sun. At first, scientists dismissed it as human error, perhaps a calibration issue. But when data from China's Tianwen-1 and the European Mars Express confirmed the same result, doubt gave way to fear. The deviation was real. Physicists scrambled for explanations. Some suggested that as 3i Atlas passed Mars, it had dipped deeper into the planet's gravitational field, altering its velocity. Others noted that a burst of plasma, recorded by the ESA's trace gas orbiter, might have acted like a jet, thrusting it in a new direction. Together, those small forces shifted its speed by less than five meters per second. But in the empty geometry of space, even that was enough to rewrite destiny. The updated orbital models were grim. Instead of escaping the solar system, 3.i Atlas was now locked in a tighter, more chaotic orbit. It would swing back toward the inner planets, toward the same plane where Earth circles the Sun. MIT simulations showed a 45% chance that during its next pass, between November 15th and 27th, 2025, the object would intersect Earth's orbital path. Some projections showed it grazing the atmosphere, others slicing directly through. A few too many predicted impact. Even without a collision, the electromagnetic and gravitational interference could cripple satellites' blackout communication systems and distort weather patterns worldwide. If it hit, the devastation would surpass imagination. Traveling at over 68 kilometers per second, Weighing nearly 33 billion tons, 3i Atlas carried energy equal to 50,000 Hiroshima bombs. It would ignite oceans, vaporize cities, and plunge the world into a permanent winter of dust and silence. The silence after October 3rd began to take on meaning of its own. NASA offered no further statements. 
their public channels remained dormant, as if waiting for permission to speak. Yet in private, rumours swelled. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, one of the first to call 3i Atlas anomalous, had warned months before that its structure and motion didn't resemble a natural body. He now claimed that the data hinted at something artificial, nickel without iron, a perfect energy retention profile, and acceleration under solar radiation instead of decay. All of it pointed to technology, not geology. Elon Musk, commenting in a live stream, noted that the trajectory shift was too clean to be random. The maneuver matched what SpaceX engineers called a controlled inward burn, a method used to steer probes with precision. The implication was staggering. If 3i Atlas could adjust its own course, it was not a comet at all. It was a craft. Then came the transmission. Weak, structured, and deliberate, it arrived like an echo across space, patterns of rhythm and tone that no natural phenomenon could explain. Analysts called it the 3i signal. At first, it appeared to be simple repetition, a redundant pattern meant to survive distortion. But as teams across the world decoded it, hidden layers emerged. Each level revealed more information, as if the message had been designed to evolve in tandem with the receiver's intelligence. It wasn't a single communication. It was a system, a digital organism waiting to unfold as humanity's understanding grew. That revelation shattered scientific certainty. Whoever had sent it had not just observed humanity, they had predicted our level of development. The message seemed to know us better than we knew ourselves. The deeper the analysis went, the stranger it became. The coherence of the transmission defied physics, maintaining clarity across distances that should have shredded it into static. It was as if the senders had bent space itself, using space-time as a bridge rather than a barrier. The energy needed to do that was beyond comprehension. Some proposed that the signal hadn't traveled through normal space at all, that it had arrived through a fold, bypassing light years in an instant. If true, it meant that communication across the stars could be instantaneous, and that whoever sent it could act just as quickly. Humanity had always imagined distance as safety. That illusion dissolved overnight. The global scientific community splintered. Some argued that the signal was peaceful, a cosmic greeting meant to establish contact. Others warned that such precision, such control could not be benign. Predators, they noted, rarely announced their intent. The quiet tone of the three-eye transmission, calm, rhythmic, almost soothing, was more terrifying than open hostility. It felt like a study, a probe designed to gauge response. Philosophers and theologians entered the debate, trying to fit this new reality into ancient frameworks. To believers, it was proof that higher powers watched over creation. To skeptics, it was evidence that intelligence, not divinity, shaped the universe. Humanity's place at the center of existence was gone. We were no longer the watchers. We were the watched. Governments convened emergency committees. Defense agencies wanted to know whether the signal could compromise infrastructure. Its digital pattern, when analyzed, aligned eerily with the structure of human communication protocols, as if built to be understood or to infiltrate. Some feared it was reconnaissance, a cosmic version of a cyber probe testing our defenses. Astronomers began re-examining old data, finding echoes, faint forgotten signals across decades that bore the same mathematical fingerprint. It became clear that 3i Atlas might not be our first contact with this intelligence. It was merely the moment they chose to make their presence undeniable.